Okay, so myself, Jivan Dr. Monica Sarevi. Uh, today I am going to teach you uh, the oxidation of the idobenzene diacetate. Or, uh, it is other, other name is phenyl idoso diacetate. So the phenyl acetate, uh, phenyl idoso diacetate is a specific reagent for the oxidation of the ketones. The ketones are converted smoothly into the corresponding acyclone with a high degree of cell. Selectivity about the treatment of the phenyl diidoso uh, di diacetate okay. uh, in a uh, methanolic uh, sodium hydroxide solution. Okay. So the reagent is mainly used for the oxidation of the aryl methyl ketone into the corresponding acyclone. The yield of the acyclone is excellent in the case of the reaction. The nature of the reagent is also uh, electrophilic. Okay. Again, you can see here the simple, it is a simple reaction, the um, aryl uh, oxidation of aryl methyl ketone into the uh, acyclone. Okay, here you can see the acyclone in presence of the uh, phenyl iodoso diacetate. Okay, this is another example, the methyl group, uh, the aryl methyl group it convert into the acyclone, the methyl aryl group converted into the acyclone. Okay. Now, the, this kind of reagent is all about the remarkable when it applied to the, for the 2,6-diacetylphenyl, um, uh, sorry, 2,6-diacetylpyridine, uh, uh, which is converted into the 63% yield of the 2,6-bis-hydroxymethylcarbonyl uh, pyridine without the oxidation of the nitrogen for the, uh, or the further oxidation of the hydroxomethylcarbonyl group. Okay, so simply the methyl group over here, the CO, COCH3, COCH3 group convert into the CH2OH, CH2OH2, so it will not further uh, um, oxidize and it will not oxidize the nitrogen itself. Okay. So this region can also be used for the uh, ferrous and uh, uh, derivatives, uh, the diacetyl ferrous and is uh, converted to the base uh, hydro. Uh, hydroxy uh, methyl carbonyl ferrocet uh, ferrocens ferrocens uh, this uh, this uh, reagent is uh, in case of it does not uh, oxidize the fe of the uh, ferrocens okay so here you can see the uh, ferrocens derivative um, will, uh, the uh, methyl uh, uh, carbonyl and group uh, here in presence of the uh, reagent it will uh, give it it will give the uh, hydroxy methyl carbonyl ferrocens okay uh, so the reagent is a selective uh, because uh, the, the free uh, hydroxyl group is uh, is not oxidized by the reagent okay so what happened here the coch3 group only the coch3 group will convert into the coch3oh group so the, it is uh, clearly known that the alternative route of the this reaction would present uh, uh, serious difficulty because uh, uh, this transformation involves the addition of the enolate uh, ions to the ketone uh, to the iodine atom of the C6H5IOAC hole twice to heal the intermediate which undergo the subsequent intermolecular displacement by the addition of the nucleophilic CH3COH. CH3 OH to the ketonic carbonyl. The reaction is selective for the enolate since the free radical uh, free, hydrolyze, uh, free hydroxyl uh, group are not oxidized under the uh, this kind of reaction condition. Okay, so this is the ketone group. Uh, it can be rearranged by the uh, shifting the um, uh, uh, carbon oxygen bond and uh, the, this is the reagent and uh, it will combine this double bond combines with the iodine itself so <coughs> on the in the presence of the methanol uh, it will react with the uh, bond of the c double bond o and uh, uh, after this it, you will see the three member ring of uh, with the containing the oxygen now the bond of uh, the carbon oxygen will uh, cleavage uh, and uh, the you will get the uh, two moles of OCH3, OCH3 and C2 OH. Finally, you will find the acyclone. Okay, when the uh, this kind of reaction is carried out uh, in the absence of the acid, the product is a dimethyl ketone of the 
इस साइक्लोन दो प्रपोज में क्या है दोनों का कंफर्म आएगा आइसोलेशन है तो ओके सो द टू मोल ऑफ द सी यू सी एच थ्री टू मोल ऑफ द सी यू सी एच थ्री विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द आइसोलेशन फ्रॉम द रिएक्शन मिक्सचर ओके सो द ग्रुप विल बी कन्वर्टेड सी डबल वन ओ सी एच थ्री ग्रुप विल कन्वर्ट इन टू सी एच टू ओ एच सी एच टू ओ एच ग्रुप है ओके सो द रीजन कैन ऑल्सो भी यूज फॉर द अल्फा हाइड्रोक्स हाइड्रोक्सोरेशन ऑफ द एराइड एंड एल्काइल कार्बो रेट एंड एराइड एंड एल्काइल कार्बोक्सीट एस्टर आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग एल्फा हाइड्रोक्सी एसिड एंड एल्फा एल्कोक्सी एस्टर अपॉन द ट्रीटमेंट विद सी सी एच फाइव आई क्लीन ओ ए सी होल टू एंड द बेस एप्रोक्सी सोलमेंट ओके सो हेर कैन सी दैट सी एच थ्री सी ओ सी एच थ्री सी सी डबल पॉइंट ओ ओ सी एच थ्री ग्रुप विल कन्वर्ट इन टू कार्बोक्सी ग्रुप सी ओ एच ओके दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अरेंजमेंट लाइक सी एच टू सी ओ सी एच थ्री ग्रुप विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द सी एच ओ सी एच थ्री सी ओ सी एच थ्री ग्रुप सो दिस दिस रीजन इज सेलेक्टिव फॉर द इनोनेट इन द फ्री हाइड्रोक्साइल ग्रुप आर नॉट ऑक्सीडाइज अंडर द रिएक्शन कंडीशन सो दिस हाइड्रोक्साइल ग्रुप विल नॉट कंसिडर दिस हाइड्रोक्साइल ग्रुप फ्री हाइड्रोक्साइल ग्रुप not consider uh, for this kind of oxidation process only the uh, ch2 group uh, will change and the hydrox we will get the uh, product over here so uh, the reagent is uh, unreactive for the carbon carbon multiple bond in case of the ester initial state of the reaction you know it uh, ion formation uh, as in case of the ketone for the attacked by the c6h5 uh, iodine oac twice to yield the intermediate first and second okay uh, here you can see the mechanism uh, of the uh, reagent the first the um, Uh, this re this reagent will uh, attack and give the intermediate first and second okay the intermediate first and second and uh, finally you will find the uh, product form both the reaction okay uh, in a mild condition uh, the in a mild condition it will uh, also affect the uh, Uh, reagent and can see here it uh, always uh, uh, attacked on the ch2 group and uh, by adding the och3 group here okay uh, in this uh, molecule the ch2 group is here okay and it will yield the 50% yield and uh, in this molecule in the uh, ch group c double bond o this this group will this group will will undergo in the reaction process okay so uh, this is all about uh, this kind of uh, reaction thank you very much